Hey folks, a reminder, red flag warning in effect until 7 p.m. Humidity levels are down, wind gusts are up. Uh, be careful where you put your cigarettes. If you put them out, maybe in the ashtray is a good idea. Don't park in the grass. Avoid outdoor burning as things are a little drier than normal out there. And the wind is up just a little bit. And it's warm. 94 in McAllen right now. 93 in Rio Grande City. 80s in the eastern part of the valley. 82 in Port Isabel. 87 in Brownsville right now. Overnight temperatures should drop to around 60 or so. So a relatively cool night across the region. Temperatures a little more mild courtesy of this front that has gone through and is slowly but surely drying the air out. And then tomorrow back in the 80s. 80s, not 90s like parts of the valley saw today, so I'm not going to call it a cool day, but a not so hot day across the region. Here's a look at high temperatures the next three days, and the normal now is up to 81, and we'll be above that, 83, 83, 85, but 90s don't show up again until probably uh, the weekend, then they'll show up in the forecast one more time. Here's your uh, satellite and radar, just radar rather, it does show spotty showers showing up in the eastern part of the valley and then moving southward into Mexico, and I think we could see another wave or two of these very light showers, but probably not much more than that. Front came through earlier, you kind of follow the line, it shows up and then there it goes and it's gone. Drier air builds in, but another little piece of energy coming across behind that that could trigger another isolated shower too this evening and then it's gone. It's very dry, it's clear overnight and tomorrow just a mostly sunny day with again lower humidity, bright sunshine pretty much all day long. Let's go forward into Wednesday, same kind of thing, partly to mostly sunny. Humidity still down a little bit, but by Thursday winds turn back around, come back out of the southeast, you start to see clouds again. Instead of being just a clear blue sky, we'll start the day with a lot of clouds. We'll end the day with some afternoon sunshine. Sunshine. But rain wise, we see nothing Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Should be dry, 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 and really should be dry for the next seven days. We don't see anything to change that anytime soon. You can really make out the front on this image. You can see that thin line right there. That's the front pushing through with just some leftover moisture behind it. That front pushes away. A secondary surge of dry air kind of filters through tonight. You won't notice that change, but tomorrow high pressure takes control and it'll be there through Wednesday. Another front kind of washes out to the north, so by Thursday, the wind's back out of the southeast. That brings in some warmer, more humid conditions back into the area once again. Traveling tomorrow, let's head north. 53 in San Antonio in the morning, Dallas at 46. By afternoon, we bounce back up into the 80s for a while and the rest of the state just a little bit cooler than we are. So for tonight, clear and cool, a low of about 60 humidity going down. Northerly winds diminishing to about 5 to 10. Then tomorrow back up to 83, mostly sunny and warm. Northeast winds all day, but humidity down compared to what we had yesterday and even to what we have now. Tomorrow, of course, the official beginning of spring, and with that, spring-like weather. 80s for highs, 60s for lows. By the weekend, more summer-like temperatures back in the 90s, even Monday of next week, 88 degrees. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.